All right, let's read some of your, of your comments. First up, we have some thoughts on our segment from yesterday regarding income inequality. Regarding that topic, Rashawn writes, income and equality are just another made-up non-issue by liberals to make rich people feel guilty. I'm middle class and sick of class envy from the government and media. This is still America. Put in the work and get to a place you want to be in life like you are, Rick Unger. Are you kidding me? I can't even believe you said that, Rashawn. People do put in the work and they're living in a van. Fran writes... Um, can we talk about that for a yeah, second? Yeah, we can. We did this last night. I That's know we did. just an absolutely outrageous statement I'm she made. So, I'm I sorry. still don't buy what's going on. There's making 19 it, an hour. It's happening. I'm sorry. Do the math. 19 an hour. Okay. What does that work out to? That makes out to about uh, at eight hours it's a day. It's under $30,000 a year. It, you try and live in America today on less than thirty thousand. I think 000 you can a get a studio or something, a, though. What do you do if you have a family of three or four people? You all going to live in? The They're all in the van. It's just him and his wife. Yeah, but what, I'm talking about fifty-one percent of working Americans. I understand. They're not that. just him and his wife. What do you do if you have kids? There's you put something them all else the going on there. There's nothing I'm else sorry. going on when, there. You you're making want... nineteen an hour. You can afford an apartment somewhere. Okay. Well, we'll let the facts speak, or we'll let you speak. Okay. Very good. Fran right. <laughs> the economy can be put right at the feet of Obama and the progressives. I have never seen this country so low. People can't pay their bills. We are in bad shape. Wake up, Rick. I'm awake. I know exactly what kind of shape we're in. You can blame Obama if you want, but that ain't the problem. 94 million people are still out of work. I understand that. People say I we don't argue that. enough. I think it's more interesting than we do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not. Patty writes, although there is not only one reason why hardworking citizens are not able to make ends meet. I was taken aback when Rick said, hopefully young folks can create jobs and pay people a fair or a living wage. Rick suffers from the same old progressive amnesia where they forget that wages are paid for a job according to the level of skill needed to do the job. Defend yourself. Easily. I mean, yes, wages are paid depending on skill level. Mm -hmm. But that means should we still be paying the same wage we were paying in 1920 if you still have the same skill level? Because because let me tell you something, the cost of living has gone up dramatically since then. Look at the charts we provided you with. Cost of living keeps going up, wages stay stagnant. For the identical job, your point does not fly. Okay, read but Jeff question. writes, here's an idea, work hard and make your own future. This thought of entitlement by progressives that people deserve a high salary regardless of skill or education is baloney. You don't deserve 15 bucks an hour to flip burgers. Maybe our next president can enforce the immigration laws to keep cheap labor from Mexico and elsewhere from taking good paying blue collar jobs from Americans. You know what? I actually buy your last point because a lot of those people are taking the jobs. However, they're not good paying blue collar jobs. That's the problem. Let me say it again. 51% of working, underline working Americans are hovering just above the poverty line. Let's open it up to everybody, shall we? Look, first of all, talk about who deserves what when you're arguing for a market economy is a little bit funny. I don't know who deserves what. I do know that far more important to me than income inequality is lack of mobility. And if we're in a place where hard work doesn't allow you to move up, Thank you. that kills hope. Whatever the economic response is, if hope dies, democracy dies. That's, That's what we've got very to nice Heather, how much is this an education problem? I was though? just going to say, it's, it's education. Education leads to mobility. I think that that is a big part of the problem that we have to fix <laughs> for not across the country. It's not that simple. It will create more skilled jobs, right. which is great. Wh which but are you're paid always, at a higher wage. Yes, it will, but you always need unskilled workers in any country. Well, no doubt. And that's what we're talking about, how those people can live on what they're being paid. And by the way, commenter, the word entitlements never entered into this conversation. I'm talking about what people who work a 40-hour hard week are not being paid enough. His name isn't commenter, it's Jeff. I forgot his <laughs> name. I apologize, Jeff. If we have time for one more, why not? We received a couple of comments on our discussion about Donald Trump bringing up Ben Carson's religion. Ray says, we agree with Trump. It is important that we know our president's religion. Fascinating. I just thought it was a ridiculous argument. Yeah, I, I don't really care what their religions are, but, you know. Okay, very good. And if you want to weigh in on any of the issues we talk about here on the show, be sure to go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. As you see, we read some of them, the thousands on the air. Maybe you'll be a lucky one. Up next, it's time for yay or nay. But first, Rick, you have special we offer for do, our Joe. audience. Indeed, we have the shocking we new book, do. Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary by author Edward Klein. It's already skyrocketed to the top of the bestseller list, and it's probably the most powerful expose on Hillary 
ever written. In Unlikable, author Ed Klein offers a stunning, powerful expose of Hillary Clinton and her race for the White House. With unprecedented access, Klein meticulously recreates conversations and details of Hillary Clinton's behind-the-scenes plotting. Klein also reveals the angry rivalry between Hillary and Barack Obama. Unlikable retails for $29.95, but now you can get it with our free offer. Get this almost $30 value absolutely free. Just go online to Newsmax.com slash Klein or call toll free at 1-800-850-8749. With 2016 election fast approaching, you need to get unlikable and be armed with the truth about Hillary. Check out our incredible offer right now.